So this is what I've decided to do. I've taken out the foods that don't look like they are wearing well in the heat of being in the car for six months at a time. And I have divided what's left into four bags, two large, two small. And I'm going to introduce into the Get Home Kit an Alpha and a Bravo Kit. The Alpha Kit will be my main kit. The Bravo Kit will be made of items that I take out of the current kit in order to reduce the load. And it will only be introduced back in if I do start out by water. Now here's the problem that, that that gives me as far as food goes. I'm going to be carrying more food for what foreseeably would be the quickest trip home by water and less food for what foreseeably would be the longest trip home by land. The only w way I see around that is to introduce caches into my get home plan. And it's something that I've played with. Um, I haven't really done a lot of scouting, but I think there's a couple places that lend themselves toward caches. However, the get home route by land is much more in question. I mean, there's a lot of ways to go. Depending on the situation, I, uh, I could go really three different main ways. Whereas if I go by water, there's only one way, and that's the intercoastal waterway. So the cash idea is something that I'm going to keep on praying about, but it's not something I'm introducing into the plan right now. All right, so recapping on the food situation. I divided my food up into four bags now, two large bags which will go into the alpha kit, the main kit, and then these two smaller bags which will go in the Bravo kit, and, um, and we'll go from there. Looking at what we pulled out, I guess we'll call these failures. The two failures I saw were the fruit and nut variety of the Nature Valley Trail Mix. They have gotten, I don't know, they feel funny. I'm going to check them out. And then the uh, emergency, yeah, that didn't work. That was only in there six months, and that's what happened to it. Like I said, I have tried these. You can melt these in water. But I just wonder, you know, what happened to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these every six months. They're not that expensive. I think you get a pack of 30 for 8 bucks. The, uh, the hard Nature Valley granolas is what I'm going to go with and stay away from these fruit and nut mix. The other items were, you know, they were showing some age anyway. They didn't go in new. Um, so the fact that they're getting hard, I, I don't blame them. The tuna fish... I'm going to try it, see if how it how it stood up, give it the smell test, and then give it the taste test. Um, but even if it did stand up to six months in the car, I just don't think I'm going that way. I tell you where I'm really headed is a peanut butter based diet. I mean, let's face it, folks. If we're in a get home situation, we just we just need protein and fat. That's all. We just need to get there. And um, I think peanut butter for the weight. For the bulk and for the price is the way to go. So I'm really looking at going with peanut butter for my main main item. And um, this, I just pulled this out because it's actually been in there a year. Um, this was a great, you know, if you wanted to look at just what gave you the most fat and protein for, for the weight, this was the way to go, these little uh, nut mix. But um, it's been in there a year, so I'm pulling it out. All right, so that's where we are with the food.